pizza. Hey, <coughs> pizza. Hey, pizza. Why are my keys in your hand? You say you don't want me as a man anymore. But I'm home. We can break up if you wanna. That don't mean you can drive my Toyota anymore. Not even to the store. And believe. tell you what the fuck happened as far as like uh why is my camera Halo uses so much my CPU, it's insane. Uh, and I looked up, my CPU is $300. So it's like, is this like not a good CPU? I don't know. So, either way, uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to be playing some, uh, some, uh, some brilliant diamonds. A thing here where I can actually see the game. Trust me, baby, I do this a lot. 
She do that roll. Now I'ma double tap that booty like I did. I, I, she take that pole. All the way down and chuck the sign. We're gonna wait until we get the actual game to pause the music. We're gonna do this a little bit. And we're gonna see how we're feeling. And if we're feeling good. We're gonna play some Coliseum. I need to get some more footage from that game for the channel. One of them that I find weird with this, right? The game's loading in. Look at this, right? It's so weird seeing a main series Pokemon game and it not say Game Freak in that. Like, not based on the original games by Game Freak. Like, that's so weird for me to see. Hey, Bill. Think you meant made and not mad? Did I put mad? Might have put mad. Yeah. I did make made. I didn't mean to put made. We're playing, uh. No problem. Yeah, earlier that. Okay, fuck you, Bill. But yeah, I could not tell you why fucking... Well, I can tell you why. Fucking Halo takes up so much CPU. Like, an insane amount of CPU. Like, I was looking at streamers who do stream it. And I was like, okay. How are people streaming this? What do they have? Like, all but, like, one person I saw who is recording or streaming uh, Halo. In their specs, they have two different computers. A gaming and a uh, streaming PC. Meaning they have a dual PC setup. I ain't got the money for a tool PC setup. I'm gonna tell you that right the fuck now. So what might have to do if we want to uh, play Halo in the near future is uh, take my Xbox, download Infinite on there, and play for my Xbox. Which is gonna suck for me because I like keyboard and mouse with Halo. So I'm not gonna be playing at optimal proficiency. As I would uh, with a keyboard and mouse. Alright, um, can I just do this? Yes, I want to cut it. I'm going to set up my other computer just to flex on you. Yeah! You're gonna have a dual PC set up? Let me know how that works out. Because I have no idea how that works. Easy. I want to see how a dual PC setup works. Dude, fucking PewDiePie. He has a one PC setup, but the motherfucker stands like three feet tall. I'm pretty sure it's two computers in one case. Wait, what do you mean, wait, Bill? What am I waiting for? You know, I feel attacked, by the way. Can you reload your save? See if there's a double battle if you walk between them. There is a double battle. I just I can just talk to I know for a fact there is. If you talk to one, it starts a single battle. Like if you don't walk between them and you talk to one of them, it does a single instead of a double. I know for a fact that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. So long as they're not like side by side. Then uh, you can make a double battle turn into a single battle. Assuming that there's a way to talk to one of them separately. But I feel attacked because a lot of people on TikTok are like, this is what everyone's team is. So far, the only difference on my team from everyone else that they're saying is going to be on here is that I have a Torter I'm going to have a tor uh, Torterra instead of an Infernape. I feel so attacked. Then one guy's like, hey, if you want to be different instead of Staraptor, use Crobat. I'm like, dog, you know how many times. I've used a Crobat and various LPs. It's bullshit. Completely I mean, I don't care for any of the Gen 4 starters. It's not that they're bad, just in terms of like starters, they're on the bottom for me. I'm not saying it's that dope. I'm saying in the grand scheme of starters. Like, Empoleon's a cool ass Pokemon. But if we're putting him against all the other starters, he's not super high up. 
Glamio! Who am I trying to level up? Weasel? In my opinion, for like, final Evo starters are different from base form starters. Like, I like Empoleon way more than Piplo. How much does Spite do? See, now this guy with Spite. It makes the game last a little bit longer than battling both at the same time, but it also makes it a little bit easier. Can we talk about how there are already randomizers of this game? Like, this game has been out for a few days. This game hasn't been out for a week yet. And there are already randomizers of this game. And if people do it, they have to hack, like, their game. Is that like on the emulator? They have to hack their actual game. Yeah. Got this guy seem to be trimmed, I guess. Better I didn't brush it up very well. I would just trim my beard, but I want to go as a Stoic from How to Train Your Dragon for Kanuga. He has a big ass beard. I want to try and get that big Stoic beard. That's on this computer. Won't tell me. Alright. Can I go behind? Nope. Trying to catch up to everybody because uh, I know there's plenty of people who beat this game day one, day one, and uh, I'm not one of those people. I, I very rarely do I get into a game and then like this is all I play. Like this is what I'm doing all day. Like Halo, dude. Halo Infinite. Y yesterday I played for six and a half hours yesterday. I don't. I never do that with games unless I'm just like. Mindlessly playing while like watching TV or something Like Minecraft I can do that with Minecraft, but I have something on my other monitor watching t as I go Halo is just constant and I played it for another like three hours today The only reason I'm not still playing Halo is because I want to stream Pokemon today I want to get through this game and I want to try to do Coliseum either today or uh, Sometime Friday. I will not be streaming tomorrow because Thanksgiving do bet. Scar. My boy. I still want a Electivire instead of a Luxray. That's what I want. Let me see. Pokemon. And where to get Elkid? Oh, okay. Let's get by visiting the Grand Underground. What about, uh, um, what's the other one's name? Electabuzz. <clears throat> Visit the Underground, head to any of these locations. Uh, Desert Cave, Vital Cave, Circle. Okay, so it's, um,. The underground. How to access the underground. <clears throat> um, it's Eterna City. Find the house with the blue door and yellow roof. 
who are at the Pokemon Center, the sign outside tells you the place is called Underground Man's House. Okay, so we'll have to do that after we, uh... <clears throat> after we beat Team Galactic, we'll do that. And we'll try to get Elekid. And, El and we'll make Electivire and... Hopefully Electivire, I need to get somebody to help trade. Let me see, what do I get? What level does Elekid evolve? And what I forget what he needs to evolve into Electivire. The Elekid evolves into Electabuzz at level 30. And he needs the Electrolyzer, so... Pokemon... Brilliant Diamond... Um, to get the Electrolyzer Pokemon Brilliant Diamond in Channel 4, you'll need to encounter an Elekid. No shit! No shit I need it, but where do I get the Electrolyzer? Uh, Elekid has a 5% chance of carrying an Electrolyzer. So, uh, our best bet, honestly, is to get a Pokemon with, th with Theft. And then, uh, use it on a... Uh... Elekid, because he's got a 5% chance of having it. And I guess Magby is the same way. Hello. Eh, did you... Do you want something? How silly of me to even ask? You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay. Bitch ass motherfucker! Jupiter. Yo, Jupiter looking kind of slim though. Attack will not be low. Thanks for the dollar, Jay. I appreciate it. Wanted to make it an even 40. <laughs> Why you can make make even 40. Fair enough. Take a bite of this, you bitch ass. Eat my wings, bitch. I'm surprised that the top dono is like the person, a collective amount, not just like, uh, the top for like, in one sitting. I did not see who they were going into, so we're going to Blizzle. Merry Thanksgiving, appreciate it. It's gun tank. That is no good. Oh, that didn't do shit. But that did a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> um, we don't want to battle. Um, we don't really have anything that's great against this. Yeah. Uh, Bill and Jace, we need to play Halo sometime. I don't know if you guys would like the Halo franchise. This is the first time I've ever played it, and I'm, it's pretty fun. Take that. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's citrus berry and orange berry. Citrus, you bitch. You got flamethrower. And I'm about to die to poison. Okay.
All right, Scar, you're up. All right, um, we're gonna charge and then spark. That way it's stronger. Also, our races are spadef, so assuming she uses flamethrower again. Poisoning it, you bitch! Alright, Spark's gonna do more. <clears throat> okay, that'll do it. That'll do it, pig. That'll do it. A bit of this plus one. We eat those. We eat those like it's fucking turkey, boys. And this is it. She didn't have any potions, I'm surprised. Okay, there are official Pokemon statue investigation. It's finished. The, Mar the Mars is collecting energy from the Valley Woodworks. You're pretty much finished here. I'll let you on a little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon with the, po with the power of mythical Pokemon. He will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Black's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Kefairy back, and it's all thanks to you, but that Team Galactic, they say Kefairy came from space, handed over. Their logic baffles me still. It's likely they're from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? Okay. We're in Eternal City right now, aren't we? Dig up some treasure. I'm from Orberg. I work at the mining museum. I got advice from the underground man on digging up fossils and spheres. Before I go digging, let me share this advice with you. While you're digging, you may uncover dark rocks. They're very hard. If you keep hitting them, the wall will collapse. Keep that in mind and you'll dig up treasure in no time. I'm the first one to have started digging out the grand underground. I am, and you can call me the underground man. Everyone else does. I'll make a gift. Uh, I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. Sports kit. Uh, let's see. Keep the sports kit from your bag's key on spot to visit the Grand Underground. Come in to you become a full fledged splunker. Just follow my lead. First, go to the Grand Underground. Going underground is quite easy. Simply use your explorer's kit. It can't be used indoors or in a cave. Now give it a try. You'd think that it would. That'd be like the best place to do it is in a cave. It's the game just did it for me. I didn't click that. The game did it for me. Hey, now this is your first time here. Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. This is a network of tunnels, caves, and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Oh, what am I doing down next in the expanse of a, of a place? That's kind of a hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up fossils and treasure, or you can make your own secret base. You should talk to the underground man in Eternal City to learn more. Why is the way to go back to the surface? Remember, why? I have to get going. Now I'll see you around. Neat. So we can go here, and this leads me to a place to catch Pokemon. There's Gashadon, there's Weasel, a bunch of different Pokemon down here. I didn't want to battle this. See, this is originally going to be my water type, but I want to use the blue one, which, in pre which I guess is in Pearl. Need to run. Looking for Elekid.
Good job. Just get away from me. This is not the cave we need. What are these little, like, marked places on the map here? Would you like to try digging it? Sure, why not? I don't know how to do this, so... Oh, there's a note tucked inside the explorer kit. Digging for fossils. I've put a sledgehammer and a pickaxe in your explorer's kit. Use them and you'll be able to dig out all sorts of stuff in the walls. Before the wall comes crumbling down, that is. Sure you can do it. Good luck, youngster. Dig into the wall. Oh, there is something here. Found this. Um, let's try over here, I guess. Get that one. I got blue sapphire and green sapphire. I don't know what that pink thing was. All right. Big lit. Spacious cave. Oh shit! Don't touch me. Pachirisu, Murkrow. Dude, a haunch crow would be dope as shit to have, actually. I've used a raptor before, very little, but I've used a raptor. I might swap out for haunch crow. The dawn. I have used haunch crow as well. I haven't used it that much. I think I've used it less than a star after. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Oh shit. Okay. this? I don't know. Haruken! Haruken! Haruken!
What's the other thing? Oh, this thing. A pretty stone box. Oh, this, is this how you get, like, the statues and shit? Ooh, that's nice. I like that. That's another Pokemon we could use for a flying type. It's Togekiss. It gives us fairy. You still need a stone either way. I'm just having a grand old time in the underground, dog. Rocky Cave. Oh, hello. Found Call Mine. Two out of 40. What does that mean? Out of 40, like, places to mine? I don't want to screw people. Don't get me wrong. Fucking Drapion's cool and all. But I don't want to use Drapion. If I can get... I'll make... I'll, I'll put it down to where... Whichever stone we get... I can't escape. Okay. I'm poisoned. That's gonna do more. Yep. Alright. Good shit. Um... Whichever stone I find first is what I'll use. So, like, if I find a uh, bond stone first, I'll use a Togekiss and get a Togepi. If I use, if I find a dust stone first, then I'll use a Haunch Pro. Yeah. Oh, there's 40 different Diglets to find, I guess. What happens if you find all 40? There's a big room in there. What the fuck is that? Volcanic cave. I just want... God damn it! I just want a fucking delicate! Just in case, I'm gonna do this. I just want an elegant. All right, we'll go down here. We'll go here first, and then we'll go up. Or oh, we should have gone up to then back down. Spacious cave. Wait, what kind of caves? Thousand Cave, Wild Oak Cave, Stargum Cave, Glacial Cavern. Okay. There's not in this one. We need a uh, Dazzling Cave, Wild Oak Cave, Stargum Cavern, or Glacial Cavern. Spacious Cave. Spacious is right, god damn. What? Yeah. I guess we were gonna go down here into this one. This one doesn't connect to anything. Another spacious cave. We don't need it. Uh, we go down here. That's a big room. What the fuck is that? Rocky Cave, don't need this one. There's a Gligar in here. If we wanted to use Gligar. Or, uh, or Gliscor, rather. Right, we're gonna check out this little room first, and regardless if it fits the one we need or not, I wanna check out that big room. Spacious Cave. Big one. Big Bluff Cavern. What the fuck is this? I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. What the fuck? Why is there a giant shield on in here? 
This is a giant statue of a shield on in here. What the fuck? Alright, now we gotta try and get out of here. No. That there is in here. I've used Scizor so many times. It's a cool Pokemon, but I've used it so many times now. Do that. Let's try digging this hole. Oh, this one. This one? Where the fuck's this bitch at? There we go. Boom! Found you. Got it. Oh, that's a dragon one, too. Is there anything here? Don't oh, know. We got a small blue and a small green. We got a dragon back. And inside is Altaria. I'll take it. Are you battling? Divided by different zones, you say. I'm looking for another kid. Oh, I've been in there. I got backtrack now. I've took. I've went everywhere that this place can provide for me. Uh, yes, we do gotta go through here. Okay. He's gonna go straight down and try not to get caught. Alright, so let's take the next one. Uh, we gotta backtrack, go through that room. And then go down and to the right. So we go into this room. And then we go down and to the right. Oh, there's Shinx down here. So, I don't know if the underground gives me any, like, special odds for shinies, or else I would hunt for, like, Shinx down here. Like that, thank you. This is... Oh, this is volcanic. There's plenty of stuff to catch down, so... Ah! Get away. Alright, bitch, you asked for it. Oh, I didn't mean to click run again, but that worked fine, it worked out. Yeah. No, you stay away. Where's where's the exit? There it is. These two rooms to look at. Yes, Dazzling Cave. This is where L kids are. Right, this is where they are. Yeah, L kids spawn here. I see Ghastly. I 
Seal Rolls. If we wanted to go for a Gallade instead of a Lucario, we could. Oh my god, Roach can float? What the fuck? I gotta take some of these guys out. We're gonna bring Weasel up. I don't know if I have to take these guys out to get out to spawn or if it's just simple as walking in and out. So we'll find out. My god, this world is level 29. That way safely. I wanna try it out. Does leaving and coming back re okay. Leaving and coming back, reset the Pokemon that are in here. At least this gives, um, Weasel a chance to catch up a little bit. He said, fuck you, I'm taking myself out. Choose curse. Hex. Oh! That hurt a bit! What the fuck? catching an elkid right now. No, 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 no. All I'm worried about right now is catching an elkid. I'll come back to... I'll come back here and get the electrolyzer later. No. Quit bumping me into shit. Test something. I left that gassy there. Is it gonna be back there? I imagine there's a better chance to spawn in like the Star Gleam Cavern and whatnot. Let's shout out the other cave. Might have to stick with uh, Luxray. I want to use an Electivire. Sand Seer Cave. So this is like a sand cave and a fire cave fixed fixed together. All right, so now I can head back and try out this other cave up here. Wait, I think a better way to go is down this way. Here, then down. 
over. This one is another rocket cave. And then to get back, we gotta go through all these caves up, up here. Go up. And all I want is a fucking, uh, oh, Ella kid. Okay, oh, and I need to go up and then to the left. Oh! Up and then to the left. Did I already go up to the top right? I don't think I did. Anything? Yeah, there is something up there. Nope, oh, stay away. You too. Let's see, do we get a stone here? Where is it? There it is. Alright. Hello, Mr. Hammer. Like that. Nothing there. Nothing there. Really? Okay. Hello. Everything was dug up. So there was a blue sapphire and an ice box. And we get... Ooh, that looks cool as shit. Alright. Oh, that one even branches off, too. I'm glad I chose to go this way. Excuse me, old man. So now, going here. Fish's cave. We don't need to be here. No, 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 Piss off, Delatia. All right, so now, oh, this place has greenery in it now. Thank you. And now... Fountain Spring is not what we need. Oh, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. been over here? I don't think we have. It says we've been in that one. I guess we've just about explored the entirety of the underground and we can get there. Like that. Thank you. I think the fastest way to get to that one is to go left. Then we can just go around. 
Oh shit, there's a big string on over there. Grassland cave. They're not what we need though. Alright, we'll go to the right first, and then we'll get to the two on the left. That, thank you. Where's it at? There we go. Come on. Fossil. Got it. You piece of shit. Not getting this one. That and a skull fossil. Alright, so now we'll go this way. Fountain Spring, don't need this one. Alright, we'll go to the left. So I have to go back down and get those strings of them that are over there. I don't know what the fuck these ziggurats are for, but we're about to get all of them. Swampy Cave is not one that we need. Let's see, is this one one that we need? Basis Cave, nope. Alright, so now we got those three down there, and that might be all for this section that we can explore. We'll have to go back through that one and go down two separate caves to get to that one. No, stay away! Stay away! Alright, then we gotta go down here and to the left. Spacious? Nope. Then we'll go to the far left one and see if we can actually do this. Because, yeah, we've explored literally everything else. And this is still water. Nope. Go up. 
I'll have to come back. I might get that off camera. Aha, I see you're you're you've gone to the ground. Well done. Take these as a reward. They're fairly some Pokemon in the ground of the ground that you can't normally find around here. Meeting a new Pokemon is one times more fun when it's a rare one. Your road being a spunker has barely begun. If you want to know more, just come visit me. But I won't. It's my motherfucking bike. So I know where the fuck to go. Thanks for rescuing me. I can't think of enough. Say, let me give you this bike to show my gratitude. Please come with me for a moment. I don't think I like the way the bikes look in this. I can match the overall aesthetic, but they're so blocky. Uh, I'd like you to choose a color for your bike. Which one will you take? I want the red. You want a red bike? Yes. Marvelous, you've chosen red, the color of passion. It calls to mind images of the flam on Charmander's tail. It's perfect for you. I got the bike. It's the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual for you. Press B to shift gears, it says. Third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it will be easier to handle in fourth gear. It can ride at full speed and climb up slopes. The bike can take you through all sorts of towns, roads, and routes. Now get out there and ride. Yo, I got a bike. Yo, my ass is on a bike, baby. Hey, yo, girl. Hey, you wanna hop on my ride? Come on, look, look, there's plenty of room on the handle bar. Alright, where do I go now? Travel south on the cycling road. Out 206. Oh, I forgot to heal. Shit. Oh, I forgot to heal. He's only got one Pokemon. What is it? Start oh, this ain't gonna be good, folks. This ain't gonna be good. <laughs> we got one Pokemon, and it ain't gonna work on that. We can curse and pray. That's what we can do. We can curse and we can pray. Okay, wing attack only does that much. So we're back to our normal attack and we're plus one. We'll bite it. Oh no. Not this bullshit! Okay. I don't know why I didn't click attack, my guy. Alright, we're going back. Pokemon Center, which is right here. Come in! Pokemon Center, it's trying to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yes, please. No. Oh shit, the D-pad works as, like, direction as well. That's cool. Alright, let's... Let's see, let's favorite it. And register. What?
Let's show the bike. Press the plus button. Use it. Oh, press the plus button. There we go. Yeah, I want Blue's one in the front. If I remember correctly, I don't even have to do anything. Yeah, I don't have to, like, I don't have to control them at all. Other than going left and right. Ponyta? I made the right choice. I made the right choice, gamers. I'm not a budget Pokedex anymore. Me, I'm somewhere between fantastic and uh, hopeless. This isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Choose which hand you want. With the right hand. I see. You want the versus seeker. I'm pressing up. You know what's important. I don't think it really mattered. This is the versus seeker. You can find trainers who want to rematch with you. Oh, Nub, you, do you also have a Pokecatch? If you do, you can have this too then. You deserve it for all your hard work. The Dowsing Machine. The Dowsing Machine app can locate unseeable items. The Dowsing Machine is something you can you should touch often. Uh, it will tell you if there is an item on the underground that you can't see. Uh, it, was, it is especially useful inside dark caves. Okay, let's keep working our Pokédex. Of course, everyone is counting on us. Okay. So, there's more trainers to fight. Let's see... I think Scar is a good choice here. Billy? Why did you why did you ban Jace? What conversations are you two fuckers having? What fucking conversations are you two Nimrods having with Daniel? And fucking uh uh the dude? Letting your fan alert her. I didn't let my mods do shit. Funny enough, about Pachuri. This is not good. You bought Pearl? Nice. Water gun, this thing. 
and bite this thing. I'm surprised you didn't like bark or nuzzle or some shit. If you want, Jace, the, the the first time since fucking X and Y, the legendary Pokemon is not shiny locked in this game. So, theoretically speaking, you could shiny hunt for Palkia by resetting the game. Except there's no soft resetting in this game. I'm being completely honest, if I want to shiny hunt legendaries, I'll just do it in Sword and Shield. I'm gonna keep it 100% honest with the Chief. I can catch every box art legendary and sword and shield and then some. If I want to shiny on legendaries, I'll do it on there. Nope, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to get a bunch of friends together. I say a bunch, including myself, it can only be four people. I want to shiny hunt Zygarde in Sword and Shield, but I don't know three people who are willing to do that. I got friends who shiny hunt, yes, but I'm not in their circle of people that they uh, stream with, because they don't know. Is they ever streamed with me, so they don't know how I operate. For the starter, also playing again. No, um, well you could do that in, in Diamond and Pearl, but you can do that in, uh... I was talking about Shiny Hunting for Palkia, the Legendary. I, don't, I feel like I'm not supposed to be here yet. Heartthone City, and then... I don't want the Pokedex. Uh, Heartthone City... Oh, it is here. Oh, I do gotta go through my Fortnite, it looks like. Or do I? Yeah, this isn't gonna go all the way to the right. Fuck it. Now, I was also saying I want to shoddy hunt uh, Zygarde in Sword and Shield. Oh, hello. Cutscene. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there, would, there should have been no strife. What became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete. Strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find this state of things to be deplorable. Did I just walk up an unwalk upable rock? Oh no, I'm upstairs. And now I'm battling something. What am I battling? I'm a chop? I don't want to battle this thing. But, uh... I don't... I know people who do play the game like that. But I, they don't want to stream with me. One of my friends, I don't know why she seems to be trying to cut ties. I could be looking too much into it. Because I hear people say, oh no, she's just really bad at getting at responding to Discord. Dude, I have seen her respond to Discord so many times on stream. I've seen her, I've asked her if I join call. Because I haven't talked to her in two fucking years. And she'll say, no, I got a full party right now. And she's got one person. And then 40 minutes later, she added another person. Don't get me wrong. She, it's a streaming mutual. So, pe and people like to see them. So I understand why she added him. But that's still kind of scummy. To tell me no, when we've been friends for over half a decade. And I don't know how long she's known the other guy. But, still, we've known each other for over half a decade. You'd think I would have earned a little bit more respect than saying, no, I can't join a party, and then 45 minutes later, adding someone to said party. And you can say, oh, she only wants streaming friends in there. The person that was in there doesn't stream. He did, like, four years ago. But he stopped since then. He doesn't want to do it anymore. He did it as like a hobby. Which is fine. You can do it as a hobby. But you lose the argument of I only want streamer friends in here. That's the exception. 
when one of your friends that are currently in there does not stream. I know it's how you turn around, big boy. Well. And then, the other one, I've never been on stream with her before. She knows me, we've talked. But we've never been on stream together before. The only time she's ever been in this stream is whenever I stream Minecraft on her server. And, uh, she... She was kind of griefing me, but not, like, drastically. She was just kind of, like, spotting zombies and stuff like that. And, you know, she, uh, spot, she spawned a bunch of, uh, parrots in my villager warehouse. So, nothing harmful. But, uh... But yeah, and I don't think she wants to do Zygarde anymore. I think she's Zygarded out. Oh, she Zygarded out, or she already got the Zygarde. I don't know which. Because she streams... Normally, she streams whenever I'm at work. So I'm just like, well, I can't watch stream. So I don't know if she got it or not. And, e and if she did get it, I don't know if she'd be down to go through Zygarde again to help me get it. And then all my other friends are like, oh, I'm playing this game right now. Which, once again, is perfectly fine. It's valid to not want to play a game when you're wanting to play this game instead. But it makes it hard for me because then I have to rely on randoms or bots. If I had a bigger audience, I'd be like, yeah, I can get members of chat to help me out with this. And because, you know, odds are, they also want the Zygarde. But, uh, I don't quite have that audience yet. So I'm just kind of up ship creek without a paddle in a sense. Bonds. So that's where I'm at. Wait, aren't you a gym leader? Doesn't say on the say that super contest shows. Is this berry? No, it's a low honey. Oh thank goodness that you have the bead there. Who for you? Who knows how far away my Baneri could have run? Maybe Baneri back into the boat before you go. I'm Kira. I'm a co super contest show judge. Please try to find the contest so I can thank you properly. If I have to. Is this part mandatory? Yep, this part's mandatory. Oh, I don't want to go in here! Oh, wait. Actually, first let me adjust my chair again. My chair likes to go back down. Like, I'll have it adjusted if it goes down, because I'm just fucking fat as shit. I think this guy is a name raider. Oh ho, I say do you do. I am the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman, indeed, yes I am. You want to choose your Pokemon to retreat? What does I say to you? If you may so, if you free promise to my Pokemon. And why I say, why do I why I do that? Because I'm giving Poppins away if it's in your love. For example, if you were to give a sweet Poppins to the Pokemon, it would become more cute. For example, a special Pokemon would add the coolness of a Pokemon. In such a way that Poppins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, because this popping case would be a gift for me to you. This was not what I wanted. The Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, you're pleased with swimming up to you. Okay, so this that's the way you tell how friendly Pokemon is to you. Where is this fucking contest hall? <laughs> is this it? This looks like one. It's very quiet in here. And 
there do I see my father, my son, my life. And there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. Is this a Pokemon church? That people are lonely is only na that people are lonely is only nature. It gives me compassion for others, so it makes me look forward to a better tomorrow. But there are still moments of fondness for the past. Time can heal some sadness, though. When people in Pokemon join hands, everyone's happy. It makes everyone come together. It would even make the world one. There are still words that not everyone can describe. The words of the words are love and joy. People of Pokemon, it's only natural that we are all so different. Make sure that you never judge a Pokemon based on whether it's weak or strong. It's always look for the good inside of them. That's what counts. The art of crafting things fatigues one's spirit. Then the spirit is healed. The desire to make something returns. It's such a wondrous cycle. Okay, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. This is a cult. If I've ever seen one. Never before have I been happy to hear the Hearthstone tune. Is this- Okay, this is the contest hall. Oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse moi Are you entering the contest show? Ho ho ho, enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fantina, the Hearthstone City gym leader, also happens to be a super contest show expert. You may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fantina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger than you may challenge me. Yep, I still got to head inside. I really don't want to do the contest, though. Don't get me wrong, the contests are fun! Just not while I'm trying to complete the game! <laughs> oh, my hero. Oh, hi, Nub. Wait, no, really? Joanne is your mom? She might be a Super Contest show star? Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Nub about Super Contest shows. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this sticker. Zero sticker C. Place a sticker on one of your Pokeball capsules before a show. It would lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a show judge, so come join us for all kinds of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Joanna, I'll see you. Are you surprised to see me, Nub? I got bored, so I came out to Hearthstone for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering Super Show Contest? Not dressed that way. It's your Pokemon's time to shine, so you shouldn't just be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. I got a tuxedo, boy. Yo, we be styling it, profiling! I'm sure it'll look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the Super Contest show. Those will give you a different look at many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. I get the feeling I gotta talk to this guy now. You're going to enter Super Show Contest, and yep, you have a Poffin case. Let me get you this for fabulously wonderful Poffin. Mild Poffin. You put the mud puffin in the puffin case. Feed the, Pokemon, feed the puffin to a Pokemon you're going to enter in the show contest. Oh, and a word of advice. Go take a, a run at the contest shows. However, the best way to get ready is to get some practice first. You take practice sessions at the center on the right. Your Pokemon puffin practice performance can only be done by having a Pokemon puffin and the puffin Pokemon get the Pokemon to get better performance. That's it. For Hartham City. Thank God! I don't know how to do this! Hala fucking Louie! <laughs> Alright, so I can't battle her yet? Oh, I gotta go down here. Ta da! I kept me waiting again, Nub. Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten right here now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You expect to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. Bitch tats! You still have a starling. You still have a star- my, my guy. I haven't been trying! I honestly haven't been trying and my Pokemon are way stronger. <laughs> I haven't even been trying to get super strong, and there are leagues above you. Spark. Uh, 
Uh, Boizel? Nah, I'll keep it in. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna wind up doing is uh, try to get Boizel on my own time. Not Boizel, but uh, Elegant. I think you can hear my roommate's dog on the other side crying when he's in. How much I learned? Roar? No. Azalea? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna swap. You see, bitch tits, this is what you should have by now. Not a fucking Starly. Yo, I thought he was gonna have a shiny for half a second. I'm still waiting on the day that Pokemon gives us a rival that has a shiny Pokemon as a flex. Like, I'm so much better than you, even my Pokemon's a different color. Monferno. I am going to swap out with you. Ooh, I like that effect. Well, we tried. Oh, you're already a fighting type? That's no fair. We're in trouble. Well, I won't give up that easily. Ah, you came out of my team again. That messes up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever. No, I just need to get tougher and keep winning. One day. That's it. I'm going to challenge the Boston City Gym next. See you around, Nub. You'll be blown away by how much tougher I'll be next time we meet. I guess you go to Valstone next. Let me heal first. And then I need to get some healing items. Next, we buy some healing items because it's been a minute since we've gotten some. Alright, so now we can actually buy super potions. I don't need 70. I don't need 30 either. Pick 20. We got seven, seven, one, two. All right, we'll get twenty repels and two escape ropes, just so that we can get out as fast as we fucking can. Alright, next we gotta go to Vilestone, and Vilestone, we gotta go through Solacion Town, and then we get to Vilestone. Alright then. What the fuck? Oh, we gotta go this way. Take a cute Pokemon out for a stroll in Minidis Car. Which one would we like to take out a stroll with? Let's do Gaia. Okay, what? Oh, you could zoom in and shit. 
I don't know you could do that. Oh, it's this shit. And a spooky plate. It looks like the Pokemon that was taking a show with you once you go out. Only special trying to make your Pokemon feel that way. Make sure your Pokemon would be delighted if you left another Pokeballs. Outside the square two. So can I do that now? Now I walk around Pokemon outside of here now? And they just keep up with me? I swear to god, they're super slow. They can, but it's so slow! Ho oh, oh. Why, Pokemon? Look at this! I get it. Torterra is slow. He's a turtle, I get it. I thought you fixed this problem. I want my big buddy to be able to walk with me and keep up. I don't wanna, even the walking speed is crazy slow, or is crazy fast compared to him. Alright, so I can go this way. And I have to battle these two. Emma and Lil. Water gun the bomb. Oh no. Water gun the Bonsley. And then, yeah, Spark the Mom Jr. And dead. Bite the Bonsley. I'm so ready to be able to beat this game to try to shiny hunt in this game. I'm gonna do that. Around here. We're in Celestia Town. And now we're in the town. And we gotta go up and to the right. Uh, hit the plus. Woo! Oh, if I just use a D-pad, I walk, and then I can... That's a nice touch, Pokemon. That is a real nice touch. If you want to play like the original DS, you just use a D-pad. That is a super nice touch. She's got the little, the little cat mouth. See that? Is Cluffa normal? I feel like Cluffa's normal. And then becomes Fairy. Because that never made sense. Fairy's known for having like crazy psychic type powers, 
It being fairy makes sense. It's literally Nan Clefairy. But the fact that it was a, an alien Pokemon, like this thing's lore is as from outer space, has crazy strong psychic powers, and it's a normal type. That does not make sense. <laughs> His Pokemon has gills and is found at the deepest part of the ocean. It's a grass type. Not even grass water, it's mono grass. Happiny? Which one's Happiny? Oh, I don't remember Happiny. Um. Yeah, we'll keep Boozle on. Dead. Ooh, a full-on Clefairy now. Now I know you're a fairy type. Alright, what's my health at? 22? I should probably heal. Breakthrough. Yes. We need one more. That was a crit, Jesus. Come on, one more. Thank you. Crit for crit. Fuck you. Roll through 215. That's where I got to the right, right? Yeah. Wrong door. You are Psychic Steel, which makes dark neutral. What? What? The steel not resist? Maybe steel only resisted in Gen 3. Because I remember Metagross resisting dark. But I also remember Pokemon having to nerf steel because of that fact. Shield on. Actually, you're rock. You actually work out very well in my favor. See, I wish I had you. I want to use this thing, which is only in Pearl. That makes it where I can't use the same move twice, right? No, it makes it where I can only move to use the same move? I thought it thought that was Encore. Maybe I can't use it the same move twice in a row. This is a random ether sitting, sitting next to this kid. Well. Things defenses aren't great. Oh, 
Point out that motherfucker just led with the level 23 and my low and my highest level is 25. I don't know what the fuck he's saying now, but it's probably yep, it's a fine type. I'd say if it's gonna be a rock type, I'm gonna be pissed. So, uh, we might need to, to do a little bit of off screen grinding, folks. again. Motherfucker's gonna lead with a detect, I'm calling it. Oh, he led with a paint? Didn't that make me flinch, guaranteed? No? Okay then. Finally! Aqua Jet! Fuck Water Gun! Why do you gurgle? You've beaten me. Oh, 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 oh. I got an Aqua Fairy. You see, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to mimic... Um... Sword and not sword and shield. Fucking hard gold, soul silver, with uh, the Pokemon following you and all that good shit. But it just doesn't work if they don't keep up with you, man. Now I see why they didn't show off, show that off. Like I 100% see why they didn't show that off in um, the trailers and shit now. Because they didn't make it to where they keep up with you. If I'm gonna have a Pokemon follow me, I want it to keep up with me. Uh, walk together. Even this! What is this? Starscream should have zero problems keeping up with me. He looks like Nigel. He looks like his name would be Nigel. I don't know why. It just if I were to use this thing, his name would be Nigel. All right, I need to heal before I fight this trainer because this is a mandatory battle. I didn't see that one. What the fuck? You motherfucker, Bumperno. Who the fuck? All right, this works out great because you are using a fire type. I can Aqua Jet you, and I can Spark you. Priority stab, super effective, brain boosted. I don't know how many times that is, but he equals a dead Monferno. <laughs> Fucking what? This thing learns aerial ace? Gyarados? Okay. We need to quickly swap priority. 
We need to quickly swap Scar's priority. Gyarados is super scary. Waterfall? This is again. That hurt you even more. The fuck is he doing? My roommate's just screaming out there. I know what he's doing. He's playing fucking uh Halo. Anyway, we'll use both of them to fight. And you're dead. That was a crit too, Jesus. Dude, I feel bad. I'm barely using Gaia, but he just keeps leveling up. And there's no way to turn off the EXP share, I don't think. And we made it. Hey you, yeah you, this is Team Galactic's warehouse. Ain't no playground for kids. Okay, so they shove you out. Here the DM here. Kinda uh trigger any quick time events that uh that we might need to trigger later on. Seems oh Like literally the phrases that they're using is heart gold so silver. I wish they would just quit making them trail behind and try to make them make sense. It's not fun. It's not, it, it doesn't help the illusion. It hinders it. Like, I understand that it's probably easier to do in Heart Gold Soul Silver because it's an older uh, engine and you can't tell. But come on, dude. Oh, if you're going to take the gym challenge, gee, you keep getting tougher and tougher, don't you? Me, well, I'm, well, I was shopping at the department store, and I mean, well, of course I've been working on my Pokedex, but oh well. I'll catch you later. Okay. I'm actually going to heal at the Pokemon Center first. And then... Uh... We'll, uh, battle the gym next time. Because we've been streaming for damn near two hours. I think that's plenty. So I still need to take streams uh, and download them and upload them before they are gone forever. Also, Ian. Alright, well. That being said, thank you all for coming out. Uh, yeah, that was a fun stream. Uh, we won't be streaming tomorrow, uh, because it's Thanksgiving. Uh, everyone who can be around their families, uh, be doing that. If you can't be around your families, like the stream, fuck you, Bill. Uh, if you can't be around your families, then, uh, be in close, call them, contact your loved ones. Uh, if... For all my lurkers, you're loved and appreciated. If you want to check out any of my socials, here they are. Uh, I have uh, YouTube, where I post all my Pokemon-related content. I have TikTok, where I post both Pokemon and non-Pokemon-related content. And I have Twitter, where I post all my garbage opinions. And uh, I have a VOD channel. If you miss any of my VODs and you want to check them out, they're over there, sweeping the VODs. Uh, all you gotta do is kick back. They can be good to have on the background. Now, let me see who... Is streaming right now uh here's what we're gonna do we are going to raid this fine fellow here okay uh his name is tyler jobin he used to go by the name tm and tyler and i want to raid him because he is a big like part of my childhood him and his friend uh josh chobin uh aka the computer nerd zero one they're a big part of my childhood 
and uh, he streams now on Twitch. He do, he also does shiny hunting, but right now he is streaming for Warren. So if you guys could please go over there, show him some love, I would greatly appreciate it. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could follow me over there and show this man some love. Uh, anyway, uh, I will be streaming Friday. Uh, we'll be streaming either Coliseum or More Brilliant. Or I'll be streaming again late tonight with Coliseum. Just depends on what's happening. Because uh, I need to get more Coliseum streamed and recorded. So sometime tonight or Friday we will be doing more Coliseum. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and head over there. Thank you guys for coming out. I'll see you guys Friday at the latest. Hey, no thanks for that raid. I appreciate that. Thanks for that follow there, Retro Guy. I appreciate that. No, I know. That's why I'm like, I don't know. The only thing that's big. Metallic signatures are 